Okay, so I am here. <clears throat> oh my goodness, I just ate, so sorry. Um, last minute. I didn't know if I was going to come on here or not. So, hello, hello. Hopefully we get some people on here before I start. But I did um, do some hauling, even though there's a storm coming. So, hi, everybody. As soon as you guys come on, let me know if everything sounds and and looks good. <clears throat> Hi, Sam. Hi, Maria. Your friend uh, Maria is hiding. <laughs> She's hiding from the storm. I'm good. Hi, Eileen. Okay, good. We're looking good. <clears throat> My nose, of course, is running because I just ate some spicy chicken. <laughs> so... Sorry, I have to, because it's running. <laughs> what is this? Okay. So, hi, Patty. Welcome, everybody. Hi, Irene. <clears throat> Looks good. Sounds good. Awesome. Muriel. Hi, Mama. Didi. Hi. Hi, everybody. Welcome, welcome. We're going to be doing a haul. Hi, Anna Maria. So, FYI. Hurricane Ida, Etta, whatever her name is, is on her way here. We're already getting, you know, tropical storm weather. We're in a tropical storm watch or warning. Actually, a warning, I believe. And already our power has been fluctuating. It's at least been four times that the power has gone out since last night. I did go out because I had to get some essentials. But, of course, you know, I hit some other stores. And since everybody's bunkered down right now, it was, like, perfect timing, even though it was raining and everything. But some lights did go out. So, you know, cops are out there directing traffic and everything. But so I won't be crafting. We're just going to share what I've been working on and my hauls. So welcome, everybody. If I didn't say hello to you. I take it you're not working today. No, today's my last day of my vacation. I start back tomorrow, and then I'll be off again Wednesday. And hopefully we don't get too affected by the tropical storm, which they're saying is probably going to be a hurricane by the time it hits us. Um, <clears throat> I'm inland in Broward, so I don't know. I don't think it would be too, too bad, but you never know. But like I said, since you know, power might go off just in case things freeze up or it goes black or whatever. It's not, you know, it's just maybe the power went out. So that's why I'm not going to be working on any projects live. Once I'm done here, I will be crafting because I ain't got nothing else to do. <laughs> Good morning, Ruby. So, yeah, I'm so tired. I work 18 hours. Oh, my gosh, I can't. I worked 12 hour shifts once. That was too much. Thank you, Eileen. Did you help? Yeah, we, that kind of stuff, we're always prepared with that kind of stuff, even before hurricane season is here. Um, we store stuff in our second shower because we don't use the second shower. So that's always like to the, to the max filled um, for both my husband and I and my cat, of course. So we're always set on that. But it was just a few other things. And it's not just the storm, but because of COVID, you know, and, and more cases other stuff is going away like again toilet paper and paper towels cleaning supplies you know stuff like that but i mainly needed to get some food and that was running low like ham and milk so i had to go to walmart to get some of that kind of stuff even though we had some we just didn't want to run low low um <laughs> I, I will maria your friend is hiding <laughs> um I will, yes, always prepared. You know me, even in the craft room. <laughs> I've got my emergency stash, my little black bag that's up on my expedite. That That's probably one of the things that I will grab. My laptop I will grab, my um, iPad. You know, I know already what to grab. The only thing is, you know, I wish I could take my desk if something was to happen because I just got it. <laughs> Thanks, Maria. All right, so I think we can get started. Let me get rid of the gum. Because I always chew gum after I eat my meals. I wish my nose would stop running. <laughs> I grabbed the desk. I know, right? <laughs> it's got everything in it that I need. 
Um, I did go to Dollar Tree and of course Walmart, and I did just get my last order from Amazon. So I'll go ahead and share with you what I got from Amazon. This is the last two items that I got. That I didn't order a lot. I don't really order too much stuff online. But look at these bells. Look at these pastel color bells. They're kind of big, but I like them. And I am going to open it because there's something in here. I have no idea what that is. And I don't know what company it's from. It says Rainbow something. Did I get it from the same place? They're from two different places. And then here are some bottle caps. So let me just open this up. Aren't these cute? I knew what size they were because they do give you a description. Um, so, again, Amazon. Just type in what you're looking for and you will find it. I got to put a trash bag in my trash. But they're all pastel colors. Let's see here. And they're this type of bell. So, really cute. But I have no idea what this is. Oh, they sent me some ribbon. I guess they sent a little freebie in here. I didn't know it came with that. Or it's meant to, you know, attach, you know, to add on here. But it's a really pretty pale minty green ribbon um, that they sent. You know, you probably attach it here. Maybe that's what they gave you to hook it. So... <clears throat> Actually, I'm just going to leave it out because I won't use it that way. <laughs> and then the last one here is, they're called Flat Bottle Cap Pendants with Holes. Eight millimeter, eight millimeter split rings attached. White, 25 pieces. This does have a zippy thing. Uh, you have to t I told them I can't make it float. <laughs> Maria. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, what is. It? Yeah, I still can't. I don't have strength, you know. I need to go back to exercising my hands with the putty that I got from the therapist because. Yeah, there we go. Seems like I don't have enough strength. So I guess the place is called iGoGo. 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 Dear customer, blah, blah, blah. But you got 25 all ready to go white bottle caps already have a little a split ring I think that's what they're called right split rings yeah split rings and you just put your image in there and epoxy or you know have you know whatever you want to use to cover it but it's all white they did have other colors but I just got this from Amazon I'll be leaving these with my Christmas stuff because I think all this stuff I'm going to be using for Christmas. I need to put a trash bag in my thing. All right, so Dollar. Oh, actually, I went to Target too. But let me start with Dollar Tree. I keep mentioning those kapook. I mentioned the caboodles last time, and guess what? They were all out except for two. They had a ton just a couple days ago, but I was lucky to find two, and they're both the same color. They didn't have the other colors, and I'm kind of glad, though, because, you know, I was going to go crazy buying them. So, this is their version of a caboodle. I can't even say the damn thing. Um, it doesn't have the tray inside, but it's actually really good quality. And a little handle. So, I grabbed two. I'm probably going to share one. <clears throat> Where do I put this? No, I, I, I'll... <laughs> I'll do Target next. <laughs> I didn't see your comment, Patricia. And I did get another bag of rice because I will be making some more gnomes. And, yeah. <laughs> I got more rice because I don't want to use the good stuff. Purple, yes. <laughs> I grabbed, I'm really surprised how nice these look. These are from Dollar Tree. So I did grab two of each two of these and two hi hilda of these and i'm really surprised how nice these poinsettias are what you're seeing on the screen is how 
pretty they really are in person. They are gorgeous. Very surprised. It has the little acorn. Now, this one kind of missing some of those thingies here, but that's okay. Um, yeah. The whole thing is cute. I love the whole thing. So I'm going to be using this as a filler for something. And where do I put you? I did grab some more headbands. Um, 74 degrees and no snow. <laughs> I did get another one of these. This is the one that I used for one of the gnomes. And then I grabbed two of the elves. And look, they got ears. So you know I'm going to be putting ears on some of the gnomes. Just grab the two. Because you could just take this apart and make your gnome. And I thought I had gotten something. No, that was all the hats. I got another pair of these socks. Because I already used the two ends on the other one. So I love this color. So again, this is going to be for the gnomes. I did get a bag of uh, rubber bands. Because you need that for the rice the sock gnomes is you use the rubber bands the ones that i had done i got oh yeah okay wait hold on i found this and i think i have another one in my stash somewhere but um target has the white iridescent tablecloth but it's six bucks um it's a little thicker though you get more i think i don't know if it's the same size or not but I just got this one. It's like a hollow one. And then <clears throat> I thought I had this already, but I don't have this in my stash. I have um, the kind with the sparkly stuff on there. So I did get a bag of Christmas colored pom-poms. Hi, Patricia Johnson. We got two Patricias on here. Patricia J and Patricia A. <laughs> I grabbed two of the bows these are mini bows and then i grabbed another pack of these little jars i'll show you how i used some already they have different size mini jars and then i grabbed these two different gift tags and i always get like tons of these in the past but this year i decided not to go crazy i'm just getting these two but you'll find these type of tags everywhere big lots dollar tree um i think walmart target you know all the stores have them but these are just a buck and you get a lot there's two sides but i take off all the embellishments well not all the time and i just use them as embellishments so like look at this one that is so cute. So that's how I use these. Sometimes I use the whole thing, but I might like pluck it off, cut off this, and then like reassemble it. Look at the little house. So I got that version, this version, and there was a third one, but I decided not to get it. It was more on the white side, um, you know, white colors and blue. It was cute, but not cute enough for me to get it. <clears throat> So, actually, I'm going to use this bag for my trash can right now before I forget. Even though it has a hole, I'll have to put another bag. Okay, was that all Dollar Tree? I think it was. Yeah, I think that was it for Dollar Tree. So, let me get this out of the way. Thank you, Patricia A. <laughs> Get it out of the way so I can continue. And. Uh, okay, so I guess Target next. And I went in there mainly for the little. Oh, I forgot to put away my cat's. <laughs> My cat's um, cat food. <laughs> Meant to put that away and not leave it in there, but that's okay. She's very particular about her food. This particular brand, she only likes it in flakes, not pate, and it has to be some kind of seafood because she's picky that way. <laughs> All right, so at Target, don't forget to show us how you use the tiny glass jars. Okay, Dee Dee. 
In case I forget, they're in here. <laughs> but I'll come back to it. Three dollars for this tinsel garland. It is so pretty. It's an iridescent white. Three bucks. Bougie, bougie, bougie. I can't even say that word. <laughs> um, I did ooh, get a pair of socks, and these are only a dollar. But I, I was thinking of making these into little hats for the gnomes, for the shabby chic ones, because that's how I've seen some people. They just um, cut the cone shape, turn it inside out, sew it, then turn it right, you know, right side, and then make a little hat out of it so got that i got some more paint and i don't even know what these rang up because they were all mixed there and they were different prices so the paints were one of them is 199 i'm assuming the white one and the gold one's probably 249 and they're acrylic this is a, a acrylic a metal metallic acrylic paint, multi-surface, handmade, modern. Um, it's more of a, look, it says 24, no, 20 karat gold. And then this is just a satin white. Satin white. <clears throat> I got this. I really don't think it's worth the $3, but it is a garland, so... Um, these are little wood houses, and there's one, two, three, four, five, six little houses in here. So I'll probably um, alter these. I think I've seen Muriel. I don't know if this is the exact same one, if you're still on here, Muriel, but I think I've seen her alter these just recently. Hi, Annie. My face itches because my hair is in my face. I had my hair up like I always do, but the wind was just blowing everything. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I put a lot of hairspray, too, and it was just blowing all my little hairs, you know, around the crown. They're all in my face now. It's so windy. So they have these. Where did I find these? Um... I don't know if this was in the dollar spots. Hi, Liz. Or um, up where the craft stuff is. You know what I mean? Because I can't remember now. But they got this tiny little unicorn shaped container with beads, even alpha, and then some of the, it's not, not string, but, you know, to create like braces and stuff. Make it my unicorn jewelry case. And this is, where's the price on this thing? I thought it was $3. I could be wrong. It might be 3 bucks. Craft kit. I'm guessing this is a kit. I think it was $3. They, yeah, actually, now, now remember, it was in the dollar spots. And um, they also had a rainbow-shaped one. But it had like, it had some beads, but it also had little sh sea shells. <laughs> so I thought that was cute. I know that Walmart had that a little bit bigger one with all those beads, but I just don't need all that. And this has some weird, weird way of opening. Guess the whole thing. Is there tape on here too? Oh yeah, there's tape on here too. Let's not get get crazy with this. But I thought that was cute. And then they have the rainbow one to go. And I did get some erasers. I did find them, and they actually had the other one with the little fox, but I didn't like them. And like some deer, or I don't know, they look like hippos with antlers. That's why I didn't like them. And I didn't like the color of the. Uh, some other things that were in that third one. But I did get the one with the polar bears, the penguins, and the snowflakes. And then, um, hi, Angry Cat. <clears throat> I got, oh, these are wreaths. Okay. I, got, I didn't have my glasses when I was there. But 
they have the little wreaths and the teeny tiny little trucks with trees in them and then santa i guess that's it yeah they didn't put any christmas trees in there but they're only a dollar each bag so i went in and got that one and i did get the bells these are bell shaped sequins they're a dollar also and they had snow in a jar but i have like a big old thing of snow um, but they didn't have many options. They had some glitters that I already have. So I'm like, nah, I'll just stick to that one. And then I got the reindeer. So I did get two of each of these. I'm just going to pull out one. These are $3 each. They have so many cute ornaments. Oh, my gosh. And they're, everything's like 3 bucks. Almost everything is $3. And I was starting to get some, and I'm like, no, no, no. I'm going to just put it away. I'm just going to grab two of each of these. So, And they're the cutest little size. So I got the gold deer. So, so cute. I don't know if they're ceramic or plastic. If they're breakable or not. I got the pink one. And the, like, blue. More like a teal maybe i don't know but it's so pretty so i'll be sharing i got all three two of each and that was my walmart haul so let me get this out of the way and i'll show you what i got from no i'm sorry that was target sorry that was target i'll get this stuff out of the way yeah it's starting to rain again the rain is on and off the wind is like light wind and Heavy wind, and then sometimes the power flickers. So, what do I got here? I grabbed another one of these. I haven't opened my new one yet, but since my this one is practically empty, once I open the other one, I know I want to have my backup. So, this is my favorite glue that I use all the time. I get it at Walmart. It's for something, I believe. Yeah, four forty-seven, and I got this here, another tablecloth to cut and make ruffles out of. So this here is similar to the white iridescent one they have at Target, but it's six bucks for the white iridescent at Target, and this at Walmart was. Oh, <sighs> Two dollars and ninety-seven cents, I think. Where's the UPC? Yeah, two dollars and ninety-seven cents for the same thing, but in a different color. So I just grabbed that. It's such a pretty blue, and it's great for you know Christmas color stuff. I mean Christmas. Um, I bought these little small cello bags. I don't know how small they are. There's two in here. Oh, okay, 12 by 15. I might have to cut this down. I don't know, but I was thinking of using these to wrap my coffee mugs that I made yesterday, the coffee cups from yesterday. So I did grab this design. It's a basket. Oh, it's a basket of cookies. I'm sure we could work, work it out. 98 cents, and then I got this one with the candy canes and the, you know, with all the candies on here for 98 cents. <clears throat> And they started to pull out more Christmas stuff, you, you know, in the front area where they would put, like, candies and things for the holidays. So they're not completely done with that. And in that same section, I did get um, the confetti for Christmas. So I grabbed two of the Ho Ho Ho's. 98 cents. And I grabbed, I thought I grabbed two of this. Huh. I guess I left one. Because I thought I grabbed two. Oh, no, I, I only grabbed one because it's $1.98. I'm like, ah. And these are large signs that say Merry Christmas. And I don't know what else is back there. It looks like a tree. Let's see. Actually, there's... 
Now that I think of it, I probably should have because there's only two of each design here. Merry Christmas in glitter. Look at how pretty that is. Look at the tree. And then these. Oh, those are so cute. I might grab another if they still have them next time I go. And the back is just green. So that's, I've never seen these before, so I'm, I'm guessing they're new this year. Okay, get in there. Okay, then um, in the craft section, I did get these fuzzy sticks, they're calling it uh, shimmer. They're just chenille stems in the iridescence. Don't know how much those were. I don't know. <clears throat> and lastly, I got some fabrics. And FYI, the fur fabric that I used on my gnomes is definitely from Walmart because I saw the big the big um, spool of that stuff over there. So it is there. And they have a really gorgeous white one um, with the long hairs on it. Oh, wait. I didn't show you these. I didn't show you these. 98 cents for the holographic um, snowflakes. I have to show you that. And then these are, this one here is four bucks for two yards of this particular fabric. And I'm going to be making some covers, some new covers for, well, a, a cover for my silhouette because I have the swan on there, but um, it's pretty fabric. I just don't like the blue that's on there in my room, you know, as, as a focal point. I don't like it. So I'm just going to do white. But this is like a gauze almost. It's very pretty. It's really nice. So I'm just going to, and then I have some trim, like a ruffle trim to put on there. So they have a little section with already cut fabrics. And this one was four bucks for, what did I say? Is on here? Did I say? <laughs> two yards. And this one's only two bucks. I guess it's a cheaper material, but it's also two yards of this material. And, um, I mean, it's too much fabric for me, but I was just thinking of like gnome hats or even, it's very soft. I don't know. We'll see. It's just a lot. Two yards for me is too much <laughs> unless I'm, I know what I'm going to do with it. All right. So I don't think that's, oh, maybe it will. And I think that is my haul from Walmart. That's it. Yeah, that's it. So let me show you once I get this back in here. It is raining. Is everybody still there? I sometimes never know if my internet is down. Okay. That's good enough. Okay. Good. All right. We're still here. So... What I've been working on since yesterday is another little rast cog. What else? Um, using the same collection that I have been using, which is the one from Urban Gems. So where's the cover? Here we go. Santa's Workshop. I've been using this. Tr struggling trying to use the stickers. I don't know why, but... I am using them. And I built the Rascog yesterday using a file. And it's a little wonky, but um, the same file that I used on the last Rascog, it's a Lori Whitlock, like a box. I don't have that information for you, but I just use this because it has a four by six bottom. Uh, if I didn't say hi, hi, Irene. I don't know if I said hello to you. So welcome, everybody. Um, anyway, so the box itself comes with a lid and some other things. So I just omit everything. It's a silhouette cut file. And just do the basic box. I don't resize it because it is four by six already. And I just cut it three times with three different papers from the collection. But I feel like like I need some more support or unless once I fill it, it'll get a little more. See how it, it dances. 
but this is how it's looking so far i put these pom-poms in here on the straws the straws themselves are actually plastic i think we're delayed and they are from uh michael's when they were on clearance i picked up a couple so these are like marble looking straws and they are i think i measured them at nine inches you have to be careful because if you're going to be using like a medium size flat rate box this is going to fit like just right and in my stash i had these halfback pearls already so i'm using those for feet there's my little handmade by that i put down there and then i used this trim here i think it was I want to tell you it is um, Hobby Lobby, but I don't know. It was reduced. <laughs> and this is like, you know, like the canvas back. So I just use that. I glue the sticks first, and then I glue these on for extra support. And then using the stickers, it had this banner, and I just backed some gold paper behind it to do the little banner. So and then I just put a really long string and then just made little bows here. I'm probably going to put something in the centers of those. And then I'm going to be altering or adding to the front of it. So that's how I just, I don't remember it being it this wonky when I made the first one. But then um, to put in there, I made or altered a little bit. Sorry, I missed a lot. I had to go take out the garbage and make off. I think I last saw deer too cute deer all oh, the little deer you missed a lot <laughs> it takes that long to take out some coffee to take out the garbage and make coffee <laughs> just kidding so the dollar not dollar tree walmart container for a buck they still have these and it's gonna fit in here you know like either here but when i ship it gotta go in there flat i had to feed the kid too <laughs> So I just put a few of the stickers from that collection on here. Little gingerbread guy. I don't like to cover this because this looks so cute when you see all the embellishments in there. And then I just put, you know, stuff that you could use for the holidays. And here are the Dollar Tree jars with the Dollar Tree fillers that they sell. So I have red and I put a little bit of crinkle in there just to help <clears throat> You know with all the moving around and i put the gold and the silver a little bit of my um bell some erasers louisa i will wait to move down with you until after the storm <laughs> you know there's gonna be more storms right it's not just once in once a year i put some of the um pom-poms and just a few assorted bling pieces here it's still raining some of these gems it's like a little diamond shape there you go i want you to see the, the shape there some of the dollar tree beads which i had used on a dangle before and then these are just some like charms and little ornaments Ooh. so should have put this over here but i'll leave it there just a few things that you can turn into dangles and stuff so everything fit in here perfectly. It locks really nicely and it's going to go on that rascog. And then I have to put these in there. This is from Dollar Tree too, but I, I was thinking of making a little box for it maybe. So that's going to go in there. <clears throat> and it's going to be something that I'm going to sell when I'm done with like I did um, last time. So, you know, if you're interested, be on the lookout. Once it's done, filled up, I will let you know and I will share everything. Let me pull my bucket over here. Seeing she wants me to sleep outside. <laughs> yes, outside. That's where that's where all the guests go. <laughs> okay, so in here, well, you already saw the cups, but I'll show you again. So there's this. Actually, we could try and see how the bags are gonna work with this. No, there are bugs out there. No, there's no bugs. Just big old lizards and gators that pass by. Um, the squirrels, the ducks, the geese, and raccoons. The bugs, eh, 
not really that many bugs unless you leave food out. <laughs> All right, so I did go ahead. <laughs> go ahead and just make a couple of the um i don't really love these these are the cupcakes that I, cupcake liners that i got from dollar tree they actually have some at walmart that are cute but i decided not to get them um i'm not loving the designs on here but i did make a couple of each just to have some and then with my silhouette i cut some of the uh rosettes with the paper collection. So these are going to go, um, I'm probably going to use a couple and then put the rest there or the whole thing's going to go there. I don't know yet. So that's going to go on the Rascog. Rascog. I already showed you these, but if you didn't see them last time, I made a couple of these. With the streamer. <clears throat> and then the, I did add a bow on here per Gina. So this is not gonna be on the Rascog. This is gonna be something else. Oh, good morning. Hi, Sandra. <clears throat> yes, it is adorable. And that's what I, I've been trying just to stick to that right now and just use up as much as possible. Um, so I'm gonna try one of those bags and see if it works. And then the rain is kind of settled down a little bit. <clears throat> Hi, Nadine. <clears throat> okay, where did I put those bags? Where did the bags come from? Oh, Dollar Tree, I think it was. All right, where are they? Did I leave them out? Things just disappear. <laughs> was it Dollar? No, it no, wasn't Dollar Tree. Yeah. Because it was Walmart. <clears throat> so let's see if the silo bags are not too, too big. They're looking kind of big so far. And they are big. All right, it's almost like I could, no, let's see how this, this looks. Yeah, it's a little big. I don't like this much. So maybe, and I don't know if I can, oh, I just got an idea. I'll cut off some and then I'll stitch it on the sides because I know it's not going to, I don't think the fuse tool will work too well with this. Unless anyone has tried the fuse tool on this material, maybe it will work. I could test it out, but I think that's the best. I could probably get two out of here. So I'm going to cut that. I'm not going to do it on here, but, and then use it that way. Yeah. Then I'll get two out of this. Claire's first time commenting. Hi. How are you? Okay. Fuse it? Yeah, okay. So I'll definitely try that. I don't have the fuse tool on. It takes a while to get that going. But it's probably going to be super quick because this is super thin. We could totally use this for other stuff too. Hmm. All right, you guys. So I think that is it. They are crazy here, Claire. Who's crazy? Ain't nobody crazy. Don't scare her. <laughs> well, she says she's been watching, so she knows. She knows how we are. Yes, Eileen Planners. <laughs> I said she's hiding, Maria. Do you really need me to get... Okay, hold on. Oh, there goes my... Hope you didn't hear my knees crack. <laughs> Come here, girl. Oh, she's way up yonder. There you go. <laughs> She's not in the closet. She was way up on a pedestal on a shelf. <laughs> Crackle like fire. <sighs> Everything cracks, you guys. My ankles, my knees. <laughs> no, she's not. She's not ready for the holidays. <laughs> you 
Everything is cracking. Ah, getting old. I'm not even that old, but, you know. All right, you guys. So thanks for stopping by. I'm going to head out now because, you know, the weather. Um, so I'm just going to keep crafting. I'm going to turn on my iPad so I don't have anything plugged in because the freaking power keeps fluctuating just her joints. <laughs> I will. Thank you. Thank you. Hopefully anybody else who's in this area, you know, the area or the cone of uncertainty, whatever is safe, but I don't worry too much about that kind of stuff. I'm always ready for it anyway, but tomorrow I am back to work and I'll be off Wednesday and up to now. Um, Eileen, if you're still here, um, maybe we could do another thing on Wednesday. But, you know, I'll let you know for sure when we get closer to it. We're just hot, but I have AC. <laughs> You're in Tampa. Yeah, hopefully it's not too bad, Nadine. Hopefully it just kind of, you know, scrapes us. <laughs> but, yeah. Okay, you guys. So I'm going to head out Wacky Wednesday on your channel. Yes. Okay. We'll confirm before that. <laughs> As long as we're safe here and we still got power and internet, we'll be good. But I'll let you know for sure, probably Tuesday. Um, so stay tuned, everyone. Thanks again for stopping by. And until next time, bye now. Bye, everybody.